Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Old Time Rock and Roll. I'm your host, David Tear, where I've been featuring my personal uh, top 3,000 list of uh, um, what I consider roughly the top 3,000 uh, songs of the rock era from 1954 to 1999. Today, I'm up to song number 2936, and that one is The Needle and the Damage, done by Neil Young. Uh, the song was released in 1972. Uh, on his uh, on his album uh, Harvest, uh, which came out um, I think the same year, and this uh, this had a few other hits on it. Uh, I think this was one of his biggest album, maybe his biggest. It did go to number one, and the other songs on this album uh, included Old Man, which was actually the flip side of uh, or the A side of Needle and the Damage Done. The Needle and the Damage Done was a B sided record and not a really big hit on its own. Um, I think Old Man did make the top 40. Uh, the, and he also had the number one song, Neil Young's only number one, uh, Heart of Gold, was also on this album. And another song called War Song. I'm not even sure if I've ever heard that one, but that was along with Graham Nash. So those were the hit songs featured on this album. And uh, I, I do like Needle and the Damage Done, even though it wasn't a really big hit. It was a very personal song for Neil Young. Uh, he wrote it... Uh, he was inspired by uh, his uh, his band member, Danny Witten, who was a heroin addict. Here's a picture of him, and he looks pretty drugged out, I think. It's in the picture, looks like he's smoking a cigarette here, too. But it was very unfortunate. Like many, many people of his generation, many hippies, uh, he was addicted to, to heroin, which is a very terrible drug. I'm glad I never used heroin. I never plan on using it. Um... You have smoked a lot of pot, but I think that's as far as I'll go as far as drugs go. Drugs are very bad. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I've never been addicted, never physically addicted to any drugs. Uh, um, you know, um, I don't know. But, but you know, heroin's a very bad drug, obviously. And, uh, you know, he sings a pretty powerful line. The other person who died was his roadie uh, um, the following year. I guess his friend... Uh, this was a former band member of Crazy Horse. That was Neil Young's uh, band. And then uh, the other guy he knew who died was uh, his roadie, uh, um, uh, Bruce Berry, the following year, 1973. And I don't think that um, Danny Witten was even dead yet when he wrote uh, Needle and the Damage Done. But he could see what the heroin was doing to him. And so pretty powerful lines in the song. He says, every junkie's like a setting sun. And... You know, I think he knew uh, he, he was going to die pretty soon. His friend was going to die. I mean, it must be pretty horrible just watching your friends slowly go, you know, uh, with their addictions. And fortunately, Neil Young's still alive. He never got hooked on any terrible drugs, at least not to the point of, uh, of uh, you know, being fatal for him. You know, it's unfortunate. Everyone who did die of drug overdose, I think it's very, very unfortunate. And of course, we know of the 27 Club that included, uh, you know, three of the greats, uh, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, and Jim Morris. And, uh, you know, uh, I guess it's unfortunate they never, they never uh, were able to get off of their addictions. But... Uh, anyway, Neil Young, uh, would, you know, cared enough to sing about it, and uh, I, I really like Neil Young. He's not a he's not a big uh, top forty artist, uh, but he um, he sings very very meaningful songs, I think, and very moving songs. And uh, like I said, he only had one number one, a Heart of Gold, but he had several other songs I think are very great and very moving, including including the needle and the damage done. So anyway, that's my profile on the needle and the damage done by Neil Young. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.